Exciting new game show weekdays at 10:30, 9:30 Central and Pacific times on NBC. Brando didn't show, but he stole it nonetheless. We'll have a complete film wrap-up on tonight's unpredictable Academy Awards. The last of the American prisoners now are in the Philippines. A town in Missouri has a case of the UFOs. The Lakers lose, but Kelly wins. I'm Tom Brokaw. The news is next. In this automated age. Mercedes-Benz believes there are still times when no machine can match a good pair of hands. Smoothing, shaping, the human touch. Doing things no machine was ever geared to do. A bit unconventional in this automated age. But Mercedes-Benz has never built conventional cars and never will. I fly much too much to choose an airline because of its fancy meals or plush interiors. And I don't choose an airline on price because the fares are the same. When I fly, I try to fly Pan Am. You see, I'm not crazy about flying, but Pan Am is the world's most experienced airline. I don't know what that means to you, but I do know what it means to me. That good, four billion dollar feeling. That's the great western feeling. Norman Rockwell special Sunday night at 6.30. This is the KNBC News Service with Tom Brokaw and Ross Porter and Kelly Lang. Now, Tom Brokaw. Good evening. A lot of things aren't showing up tonight, including our theme music. Marlon Brando decided that he would rather go to Wounded Knee, South Dakota than to the Academy Awards. At least that's the word from the young Indian woman who appeared for Brando tonight, as it was announced that he had received the Oscar for Best Actor. The woman is Sasheen Littlefeather, an Apache. Speaking for Brando, she said the actor would refuse the Oscar because of the treatment of the American Indian in motion pictures, in television reruns, and because of the recent happenings at Wounded Knee. Ms. Littlefeather was met mostly by silence and some of boos and applause from the Academy audience. Later, she discussed with KNBC's John Marshall Marlon Brando's protest tonight. I think that uh, Marlon, and again, I don't speak exactly for Marlon because I am such a little feather, but he is in support of Wounded Knee, and he wishes to show his support. Where is Mr. Brando right now, to your knowledge? I don't know. Is he definitely en route now? 